After how well received the first Sims 1 9 things video was, I decided to make one for The Sims 2. Here are 9 things about The Sims 2 that you probably didn't know about. If you look closely when you're pouring yourself a bowl of cereal in the morning, you'll see that there's a picture of a woman on the side of the milk cart. Most of you don't know who this woman is, but some of you probably do. She was an NPC inside of The Sims 1 and is notably missing in The Sims 2, but her husband Mortimer is still present in the game. So this begs the question, what happened to Bella Goth? It was a cold and lonely night. I walked the empty street on a boulevard of broken dreams. I was a detective, a retired detective. I found a portrait of a woman on my solemn midnight stroll in the rain. She was beautiful and looked delicious, much like the cappuccino I had drank that morning. I knew I had to take on this case and come out of retirement once again, for my search for Bella was only beginning. We will check back in on Detective Tytar. He's coming back. In the complete collection, if you go to Belladonna Cove, press the tab key and then you could freely look around your neighborhood. And no, this is not just some sort of prop. This is an actual lot that you can enter and go into if you have a camera mod installed on your Sims 2. Despite all my most valiant efforts, I could not get this camera mod to work on my version of The Sims. I'm not sure what I did wrong. You're a disgrace to your family. One of the more cool things about The Sims 2 Bon Voyage expansion pack, there's actually three secret lots. Each one has a special guest of its own. The way you get there is by digging and acquiring maps or taking tours while you're on vacation. The first lot is Pagoda in the Shadows, home of the wise old man. Second, the mysterious hut, home of the witch doctor. And third, the hidden burrow, home of Bigfoot. Did you know if you use the special gaming PC with the llama on the side, you can actually watch your sim playing the demo version of The Sims 3 before it even came out. If you look in the sky at the hot air balloon closely, you'll see a really crappy 2D rendering of what looks to be Bella Goth inside. I can't expect to see her in this night sky. It's not possible. I'm sorry, Bella. I have failed you. I have failed you. I desperately searched for anything, any clue at all to lead me to Bella. I was about to lose all hope. Don't give up hope. Mommy? No, you wascally wabbit. It's me, Bella. Can you hear me? Yeah. Does this mean you're dead? A ghost? No, this is a figment of your imagination. Don't give up hope. I'm somewhere out there. It was when I heard fake Bella's voice that I knew I couldn't give up just yet. For Detective Tytar was still on the case. Believe it or not, Teleporting is a hidden feature in this game, and no, you don't have to cheat to get it. To get it, you need to go to Takamizu Village, really hope I pronounced that right, and encounter the ninja NPC. From there, you click on him and choose Learn to Teleport. You're going to be presented with two different options, and both have a 50-50 chance at success. If you pick the right one, you learn how to teleport. If you choose New Age Music on the radio to play, you're going to hear a familiar tune if you've played The Sims 1 before. Still got the moves. One of my favorite things on this list is, did you know you can actually do a custom painting inside of The Sims 2? When I was doing this, I noticed I needed six creativity points before I unlocked this. And then it gives you the choice to do a custom painting. And when you get in there, there's Bella. There's actually a ton of Easter eggs pointing to Bella in this game. Want to know how to do this? Just comment down below. I'll let you know how to do it and get your own paintings inside of The Sims 2. Speaking of painting, I just did a really fun challenge inside of The Sims 1. I have three different Sims take seven days to paint $10,000 worth of stuff with a surprise twist ending. Go check it out once this video is done if you're enjoying this. But if Sims 2 is more up your alley and you've been wondering how I got this glorious Titar shirt inside of The Sims 2, check out the video where I play The Sims 2 as it stands today. It doesn't give an in-depth tutorial, but it does show the program you'll need and how it's accomplished. And the video is a lot of fun. If you go dining and skip the bill, you enter a one minute mini game I never knew existed. So we're gonna try this live together on this video. My uh, victim is gonna be 125 cafe. This seat is as good as any. Order for me the lobster thermidor. I got that because that's the most expensive thing on their menu. I'm gonna I'm gonna lift the plate clean. I guess I just devoured the plate simultaneously. I'm gonna press skip out on Bill. Oh no, run here. Go, go, go. She's chasing me. 
Oh, she's really helping me too. I can't believe they put this in the game. I got six seconds left. Three, two, one. <laughs> Lastly, if you reach level six in the lock career, you unlock the career reward, which is a fingerprint scanner. And if you don't redeem it and end up moving into the goth house, which is where Bella used to live, you'll find evidence of our missing Bella goth everywhere. I had solved dozens of cases. I was at my end. Think, Titar, think. That's when finally, 